This is the second week of our brand new podcasts, and these these are very very much fun to do, and uh, they've uh, they've kind of broken open some new territory, some new new realizations of mine. That is that I give musical commentary on the pieces that I've written, which um, is such an obvious idea. I don't know why I didn't get it before, but the the podcasts before were were. My, my commentary was just the poems from The Fire of Prometheus. And that actually, in a way, led to the formation of that book. So we, uh, we discovered, though, that the people didn't realize that I had written the music for these podcasts. So this is an inside look at the music. Hope you find it interesting. And uh, remember that music for a while shall all our cares beguile. We're listening today to my second Caribbean song, The Lord is King, 99, Psalm 99. Let's listen to it a little bit as my, my choir, under my expert direction, sings. Now, I uh, have always been very idealistic, hoping that churches could aspire to some of the artistic leadership that they had in the past. We think of Bach and um, Telemann and so forth. Pietro Jan, for that matter, here in America was um, organist, choir master at uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, had an apartment in Carnegie Hall, right right up the stairway from Leonard Bernstein, I'm told. But back to my topic is that um, the, there, there was a time when the greatest musicians of the culture were, were su- supported by the church and worked for the church. Now, we never even would imagine that that was true today. And uh, so this is my, my attempt to, uh, to write ambitious music, artistically ambitious music uh, for the church. Now, uh, I'm, I've thought a lot about these pieces, and in fact, I, uh, I, I had forgotten that I, that I wrote these pieces with my surgeries and all, and, uh, but there they are, and uh, at Montview Church, where I worked for, for almost 30 years, we, we would do pretty ambitious a roster of music uh, Sunday after Sunday and uh, here we have um, Don Prorak playing 
steel pans. Don Prorek, who taught me everything I know about the steel pan. Um, and uh, he was a leader of the Pan Jumbies. I don't know if uh, that name is uh, familiar to Denver, probably, but not, not beyond that. And uh, here uh, he's uh, playing, playing solo on two tenor pans. So steel pans are all over uh, now, and uh, except in the church, of course. But now, if you're a, if you're a, a church musician, as you listen out there, and uh, are are taken with the sweep of these of these songs, uh, you know where to reach me. And uh, John Kuzma, www.johnkuzma.com, and uh, you can buy my book, The Fire of Prometheus. And uh, soon to be everywhere. But this is, um, I uh, am I'm working without a net today. It's my friend Taylor, sits across the glass from me. And uh, I, I asked him before we did this podcast if I could just, uh, just do what I've done so many times, just speak, speak from my heart about this music. And uh, here, here it is. Let's listen as we finish. This is John Kuzma. Music for a while shall all mere cares be